All right, so in my last video, um, I show you guys how to navigate the Adrift Expedition, uh, which is the new edition uh, in the quest within No Man's Sky. But I missed a crucial factor, which was showing you guys how to actually access the abandoned universe. I'm Henry Sparks and welcome to another video. If you find this information very useful or entertaining and you like my gameplays, please go ahead and press the subscribe button as well as the like button for good measure. All right, so essentially I'm gonna show you guys how to access or how to actually enter the abandoned universe um, and you can start with your Adrift Expedition. So the very first thing that you should wanna do is access the space anomaly. So as you can see right here, um, I accessed the space anomaly, then I entered the anomaly. Um, from the anomaly, what you then need to do is you need to head on next to the terminal that's next to the nexus. So the nexus is that thing over right there, which is that drone. So you can get missions over right there, but we are not going to do that. So we are going right next to it. So you'd see that they've added an orange terminal right here. So this is the expedition terminus. So from here, this is your gateway to access the abandoned universe and you can start with your Adrift Expedition. So this is pretty much it guys. And yeah, I'm just going to go on ahead and resume the expedition that I was doing the last time. Then I will go on ahead to show you guys um, essentially how you can be able to get Deuterium because the last time we had managed to get uh, magnetized ferrite and other resources. But to actually repair the spaceship, we needed to get Deuterium. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that. So I'm just going to restore uh, or resume my expedition rather. So we've entered the abandoned universe. Um, yeah, so right now Essentially, what you then need to do, guys, to be able to get Deuterium, so I've already done it, um, and unfortunately, No Man's Sky does not allow me to go back in time um, due to its own saving system, which I, f I find very weird, by the way, um, because you should be able to yeah, go back to a specific timestamp if you want to, but they don't allow you to do that. So if you hit the escape button, you see that there's an expedition tab and top. So on that expedition tab, if you click on it, you see that you've got different quests that you have to complete and then you get different rewards. So if you want to get Deuterium, Deuterium, um, you can see that Deuterium right there. Um, if I'm just going to pin the details to Deuterium, um, you you need two things, right, to make Deuterium. So you either need dihydrogen. Um, so I'll just show you with my refiner. So there we go. So to make deuterium, you need dihydrogen or tritium. But since we don't have a spaceship that's working, that means we need to find an alternative resource. And in our case, it's going to be silicate powder. So silicate powder, you can just get it by simply switching on your terrain manipulator. And then you can just drill anywhere under, like on the ground. As you can see, I'll be able to mine silicate powder. So how did I get this? So if you're wondering how I got this personal refiner that has two inputs like this, then essentially what you need to do is the first thing that you have to do is find your spaceship. So when you first land on this abandoned universe, you see that your spaceship will be somewhat far away from you. So you'd have to go all the way and track it and walk all the way until you reach your spaceship. So when you reach your spaceship, just hit escape, come to the expedition, you see that you would have completed the first quest so after the first quest they will give you um a reward which is going to be an advanced laser and when you install the advanced laser on your mount 2 which is right over here so if you if i if you install your advanced laser you would have achieved the second quest which is this quest from the ashes so they will give you um that personal refiner after this mission so when you get the personal refiner, you can just go on ahead and install your personal refiner like what I did on my space, um, on my exosuit. And then just like that, you have a refiner that has two inputs and can make you deuterium. So that's all that you need to do, guys. Um, so just make sure you hit escape and collect your rewards because your rewards are not assigned to you by default. You have to actually go on there and collect your rewards. 
perfect so now that we are done guys i've shown you how to make deuterium um and how to also get your personal definer um so those are like the most valuable tips you need in the, in order for you to get out of this um abandoned universe so now that we are done there right i'm gonna hop on straight into my spaceship which is right over there i have already fixed it all right so as you can see i've already fixed my spaceship um i only have a couple of slots over here that i would want to repair let me do that actually um and there we go all right perfect so now i'm gonna go on ahead and complete the uh the next quest which is in the width actually this has been done so i'm gonna collect my reward which is i'm breaking my spaceship inventory interesting all right cool let's do that oh wow oh wow all right so many slots interesting i got three slots guys that's amazing so i got three free slots and i also got this thing here which is the nippers bud uh, apparently it's very expensive you can see that uh, if i sell it i'll get 141,000 units so yeah amazing cool so that was the next next one that i did so let's see under the expedition terminal phase one um all right so it seems like there's a couple of other um mini expeditions that we need to complete right so uh, right let's see phase one all right there we go all right so interesting guys so there's like phase one then there's phase two then there's phase three phase four five and then you get the final phase right so essentially you have to go through all these phases and you need to complete all of them amazing all right I, I, know, I quite like this guided expedition that they've given us. All right. I mean, the stars go beyond uh, make do and mend, repair of vital equipment. Um, still whispering egg. Okay, we need 16 whispering eggs. Shit, there's going to be a lot of fighting here with those horrors, but that's fine. <laughs> uh, summit, a, um, summit a mountain of at least 1,600 units. Interesting. Um, reach the two rendezvous all right that's pretty cool um lights out visit the space station so yes i think this is what i'm gonna do now guys so i'm gonna go and complete this mission and see what rewards we are gonna get but before i do that i see that there's some glowing metal over right here so maybe let's first just mine these resources i think that's probably copper right there um, and that's probably silver on, on my left. On my right, that's copper. On my left, that's probably silver. Let's confirm. Actually, that's magnetized ferrite. Okay. But there's a drone right over here. I don't want to mine resources when there's a drone next to me because it's going to attack me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a different technique where I try to mine the copper from underground. I hope the drone will not be able to pick it up. So one thing also, if you're gonna see, so you see right now I'm underground. So it's very difficult for me to see where that magnetized ferrite is. So what I can do is I can press C. As you can see, it will show you all these blocks. So this is pretty much the resource deposit. So now you can just start to mine the resources. So I'm gonna mine them from underground so that the drone doesn't actually get triggered to come and start attacking me. So that's just another neat trick guys, if you did not know that um, this is a neat trick that you can do in order for you to just take all the resources um, yeah, in the presence of drones essentially. Because let me show you what happens when you try to mine resources when there's a drone uh, um, near near you. Check this out. Uh, actually no, that's, that's a bit too far. Okay, let's see what resources are nearby. I'm not sure about. I'm not sure about. Okay, there we go. So as you can see, if you try to mine any sort of resources and there's a drone nearby, the sentinels they get triggered and they'll come to attack you. So you don't want to do that. So as you can see, that thing was on high alert and now it's scanning. 
So that's why I had to go and mine from underground. So that's why it's the neat trick. So if you do that the second time and the drain and the drone is near you, it will just go straight into combat mode and start attacking you. So I'll we'll show you now. So I'm gonna so that it's been alerted. So I'm gonna do that second time. There we go. So you can see now suppression measure, measures have been, have been triggered. Okay, now they're going to start attacking me. There we go. And I don't want to fight with them. I don't want to fight with them. Actually, you know what? I think I will engage in them in battle with them because why would they attack me? Actually, these drones are weaker than the ones you normally find in the base game. Let's finish up mining this copper before the other drones get near me. Shit, they're already here. There's a lot of them. By the way, guys, when you're fighting drones, you want to take out this one here first. Because this one summons more drones. So you want to take this one out first like, so that it stops summoning more, more reinforcements. Alright, and then you need to take out these small ones because they are the, um, the ones that repair other smaller, like other drones. Where, where is the other one? There were two of them. Okay, there it is. And then you take out these ones which are just the basic attacking drones. But you can see this one here. These smaller ones, they repair other drones, so you don't want to take those arms out first. Because then, once you do that, you've cut off the drones from being able to essentially heal each other. Oh shit, now the ones that are coming after me are the most dangerous ones. The quad servers, essentially they're the ones that, yeah. Pretty much dead, dead. That's dangerous right there. That's the most dangerous one. I don't like fighting this. That's a monster right there. All right, guys. So with that being said, um, yeah, it's been nice knowing you. I'm probably going to die now. Um, but I won't stand for it, so I will run. Because I'm not equipped enough to fight those that one that one that's insanely powerful guys shit it, oh see that powerful laser sentinel quads goodness run boy run run So by the way, you cannot escape these drones by running underground because, I mean, the quad sentinels, they can go underground as well with you and they also disappear. So if you were counting on drilling and going underground, that will not work here. So your best bet would be to actually try and stand your ground. Take out these small ones that repair the other ones and run whenever you get the chance to. Yes, I, I need to take out all these smaller ones, but it will be useless if I don't take out the ones that summon the other drones. So that triangular drone right there. That, okay. Shit, they're, they're killing me now. All right. Cool, at least the ones that summon and the ones that repair, they have all been taken down. So now what I can do is I'll just try to pick out these other drones individually and continue to run away from that sentinel quad because that one is a beast you don't want to mess around with that um all right goodness gracious um okay Come on, dude. Come on. And like that. Told you guys. 
all right guys so this has been part two of the adrift expedition if you like this video and you like this gameplay go ahead and press that subscribe button and also leave a thumbs up on this video